I don't get to toot my own horn very often, but I gotta say I'm pretty proud of what I was able to accomplish within the last year. Uh, and uh, it was a lot of work, don't get me wrong. And one of them was passing the A plus certification. In this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about all the things that I did to help, su help me succeed in making all that happen. I'll give you the ideas of the tools and resources that I use uh, to be able to earn the A plus certification. I'll also explain a little bit what that is and what it means for those who are trying to enter uh, the IT business as a beginner. As I mentioned, it was a lot of work. Uh, I was at my previous job, my previous uh, occupation, career, if you say, and without getting into detail, at least as of now, I'll say this, change was needed. So I decided to think, okay, I love tech. What can I do with it? IT. So I talked to a few people that I knew and uh, a lot of them gave me some good advice. One of the common things I heard was get A plus certified. Now, for those who don't know what that is, there's a trade organization out there that uh, focuses on the IT uh, enterprise, and that is CompTIA. And what they do is they, one of the many things they do is they create exams to display competency, certifications to display competency. Uh, one of those, uh, for instance, I'll throw out a few out there, this is the Security Plus, the Network Plus. By the way, everything they have kind of usually ends with a plus. Linux Plus, uh, there's a pen test exam. This one though I'm talking about is the A Plus. This is a very entry level uh, IT certification. It is very broad too, so broad that it has to be taken with two separate exams to get that, cert that one certification. The material ranges widely from networking to security uh, to uh, hardware. A little bit about software, a little bit of operating systems, a little bit of everything actually, printers even, you know. There's a lot thrown at you material-wise. The one thing to keep in mind is to get that certification, you don't necessarily have to, or it's not recommended at least, to have IT experience, though it's recommended to have at least 9 to 12 months of experience before taking this exam. Granted, I never had experience on paper per se, but uh, the job that I had before, I wore a lot of hats. And one of those was kind of helping people out with uh, desktop issues, computer issues, and so forth. Stuff that didn't really have to be escalated up uh, to the next level. But there are a few resources that I had uh, that really helped me succeed in this. So the first resource is actually a book, something very simple. And it was the CompTIA A Plus Certification Study Guide, the 11th edition, because the exams change every three years. You might wanna make sure you get the right edition for something you're gonna be studying from. Now this book gave a pretty good comprehensive look what was expected to be on the exam, have a few like quizzes, a few practice questions and so forth. Um, this book covers the, at least as of this recording, the current exam, which is the 1101 and 1102. There was a previous exam, the 1001, 1002, uh, that expired last October. Long story short, I ended up studying for this one. I gotta say that was a great review of the material uh, and it was very useful to kind of follow up on some things I was still kind of lost on. So a good book, good resource. So the next aid for me was actually the Google IT support certificate offered by Coursera. You're probably thinking, wait, that sounds like a certification. It is, but there's training with it. This is part of Google's Grow With Google initiative that was launched a few years ago. And basically what that is, is they offer training. Now this, in this case, it was uh, off, it's offered on Coursera. Of course, there's a monthly fee with that if you want to get the certification and take the clues and make them count. Uh, but uh, if uh, your budget's not that tight, at least, there are some ways uh, to get that. The course material is meant to line up with uh, entry-level tech professionals. So basically, uh, they have uh, stuff ranging again from networking to the OSI model, which they don't cover in the A-plus exam, but it's something worth noting or knowing anyways. Uh, stuff like they had training, they had virtual labs. So basically, you connect to a virtual machine on another server somewhere in the cloud, for instance, and you get to use an operating system, whether it's Linux or Windows through there, and learn how to do uh, certain things that you're expected to do or should know somewhat how to do uh, in the uh, help, help uh, desk or uh, IT support role. Now there are five big units that are covered in that uh, course, which is uh, customer service, 
networking operating systems, Linux, Windows, little, not too much Mac OS, a system administration, being a power user, so to speak, and finally security. Now it took me about four and a half months to complete all this. Um, it was a lot, uh, but it, it paid off in the end. I gained a lot of knowledge from it and it helps kind of reinforce some of those concepts you're already studying for, for that A+. So it's around $39 a month, at least as of this recording. So a little bit of money, but if you could spare it, maybe cut off a few coffees uh, for during the month, it's worth it if you're trying to get into this. I have links down below and also on the blog post as well to where you can access not just the book I was talking about, but also uh, the, the course and also other things that I'll mention uh, thereafter. Now the next bit is study material from someone I discovered online. His real name's James Messer, but he goes by Professor Messer. Now I saw his name come up in a message board where someone asked the questions, hey, what's a good way to study for this exam? This is one of them. Now what he does, he has a lot of free YouTube videos, but also uh, has material. If you go to his website, it's professormesser.com. Again, I'll leave the links below. You will come across uh, some of his study guides. And also, he also uh, makes these practice exams, which I gotta say, they're pretty good practice exams uh, for that A plus exam. In his videos, you know, they're kind of easy on the eye. Same thing with his uh, study guides. Uh, not very super thorough, like he doesn't go over everything in fine detail, uh, but the videos are short enough to kind of get you the gist of all these things and a good study reference as well, especially if you're kind of uh, need a little bit of help uh, filling in the blanks with some of these concepts, these uh, entry level IT concepts. I would highly recommend his study material uh, and his practice exams. Highly recommend, go check it out uh, if you're trying to get into this. All right, next up, I found out about this uh, uh, material a little bit later on. This is IT Pro TV. Well, they're rebranding themselves out of this recording as IT Pro. Uh, their studios are actually based in my old stomping grounds in Gainesville, Florida, uh, where you know, I went to the University of Florida. Go Gators. Now this company, which uh, IT Pro TV, or IT Pro rather, is owned by ACI Learning, and what they have is a, a wide library of material, whether you are just beginning uh, to get into this field of IT to way advanced stuff. I'm talking about Linux, talking about trying to study for your CCNA, which is like a high level, higher level uh, network certification. And uh, the A plus videos are went over, they call them edutainers, educators, entertainers, edutainers. Wes Bryant and Ronnie Wong uh, did a great job talking about the material now this these videos they go in depth a little bit more uh so prepare to sit down and uh, watch these and take some good notes if you have to i thought the practice exams were a little harder but uh at least the the video content and also the labs were very very useful highly recommend it it is a bit pricey though they're cheap they're more expensive plan which has again the virtual machine uh access uh, the lab access rather the videos practice exam that runs about 59 a month but if you just want the videos, you can get a little bit cheaper than that, around $39 a month. So uh, at least if you're really want to get, get, your, get, your, get your head in the game here, that's something I would recommend. I know it's a lot of money, but I try to tell myself this a lot, and that was uh, it's cheaper than college at least. And last but not least, at least there's some free stuff you can get your hands on to kind of help you study along the way. I recommend having a book in this case, again, like the book I mentioned earlier, but also uh, some YouTube accounts to follow to kind of get your head in the game if you're kind of new to this field and kind of want to learn a lot along the way. I'll leave those links down below too, but for some YouTube accounts, I recommend Network Chuck. Discussed him before in some of my work. Uh, David Bumble, very good stuff as well, uh, especially if you're interested in the cybersecurity realm, definitely a good follow. Cyberspatial, again, another cybersecurity person. Kind of gives you breaks does a pretty good job breaking down uh some of the uh some of the concepts and a little bit of history as well doesn't make his videos as often as he used to but someone some some high quality work that worth following professor messer once again he's another one that i mentioned earlier also the linus tech tip channel pretty good especially with uh learning things about pcs and whatnot if you're more into the hardware aspect learning more of the hardware aspect that's one i would follow as well and of course, there's probably other channels I'm not really thinking of right now. But if you have recommendations, actually, for good accounts to follow, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. 
Hope all this information helps you on your journey if that's where you're going. Uh, if you have questions, go ahead and leave them on the in the comment section. Also, again, YouTube channels or anything, any other resources you think that would help as well, go ahead and leave those in the comments. Help others out who may be trying to uh, get started in this business. Uh, I know it, it helped me out a lot, you know, kind of reading other people's thoughts. And I uh, hope, help, help, hope it helps someone else uh, down the line. And uh, I just want to pass it along down. So you all can be successful uh, in your journey as well. Again, go ahead and leave comments. Feel free to like that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you all in the next video.